Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number RM1300-5. This is what's called a small straight grip zone, square ends, small post mount, half inch diameter. So what is this? It's a pull. It's a cabinet pull, a drawer pull, uh, probably some larger casework that's being done. Uh, patient room doors in hospitals will have a larger <clears throat> like maybe, you know, 20 inch by 70 inch uh, panel that uh, can open up and that personal belongings can go in there for visitors, etc. cetera, uh, is generally where I will see that. Um, your, although it's a bit, um, it's a bit, uh, maybe, uh, it's a beautiful pull. So maybe your favorite coffee shop wouldn't use this sort of look but the durability of a larger handle would certainly be used. This is going to a woodworking company, so who knows where, where it will ultimately end up. Could be residential as well. Pretty decent quality. A little burr on the end that just my fingernail just cleaned off for the most part. So it's an RM1300. That means the design, the primary uh, components of it, featuring a uh, a bar like this and a couple of bar for bar mounts for bars for mounting <clears throat> it's a grip zone you can see that there's a brushed finish in the center over the polished on the end okay square ends obvious you can also order them the radius end as well small post mount meaning that the this diameter is smaller than the rest of it and that it's half inch diameter let's get the <clears throat> caliper and take some dimensions the the post is 0.4 Eight eight point four eight eight here, down over here the main portion is point five zero eight point five zero eight. Heck, heck, is that right? I'm sorry, <clears throat> I knew. It. Okay, so the mounting posts themselves are point three eight eight point three eight eight. So basically three eighths here, half inch here. Okay. overall length they've got it at five inch well this is going to be six and seven eighths overall length the overall length on posts like this are generally inch and seven eighths longer than the center to center so when you're ordering this you're ordering it by center to center it's five inch but unless otherwise specified it's going to be an inch and seven eighths longer that's just the standard it doesn't have to be that you can tweak that if you like but if less that's specified, it's going to be inch and seven eighths overall length. Little groove that's here, okay. Now you can order the RM1300 in really any length. If you want this 12 inch, guaranteed that's gonna happen, not a problem. You know, custom sizes, no problem. Rockwood all but encourages people to ask for custom sizes. They're really great at it. Um, they, you send them a quote request for something unusual, they'll do it. If they've got the, if they have the machinery, they'll do it. A couple of screws, you're going to get 832 by one inch machine screws. That's going to allow you to install this into your typical three quarter inch drawer or cabinet fronts. Really handsome uh, pull. Let's switch to the screen view now and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Here is the item that we are looking at, RM1300-5. Uh, so before select mounting, you can do these back to back. If you order them back to back, you have to order in multiples of two because you're ordering two. I've had people call and ask, "What? when I buy one, I'm getting two, right? That shows two, it doesn't. That is just like what we would call an elevation view and then a right side view. It's just a different perspective of the same single pole. Um, as we scroll down, half inch diameter, five inch center to center. This is the language that talks about the one and seven eighths difference between the um, overall length and the center. The projection is inch and three eighths. I didn't measure that, but putting my tape measure on it now, I can tell you that that is accurate. It is inch and seven eighths. This is a split finish. As you can see, polished at the end, brushed in the center. I do have some images. Let's take a closer look at them. Polished, satin, 
There's a good picture of it right there. <clears throat> that groove that's machined in that bar as well. By the way, it's made of stainless. That's what the finish codes mean. 630 is over here, solid stainless and a brushed finish. 629 is over here, solid stainless with a polished finish. Those are the two screws that are included. They apparently can do it in a brass split finish as well, and I know I've done that in the past. Mounting types we talked about, single poles are standard. Back-to-back, uh, -back. if you do back-to-back, -back, indicate door thickness, uh, please. Um, if you would, we need to know how long to make those bolts. Um, however, they're going to assume three-quarter inch. Advise if the thickness is other than three-quarter. Now we have some documents down below. Product brochure, let's look at that first. This is handy because it's going to show you the other variants. Grip zone, that's the two-tone version. Okay. Straight with square ends, half inch. Straight square inch, five-eighths. Offset, here's an offset. Square five-eighths, and you get the picture. The centers to centers, these are just a listing of what, what they do. They can, I, I, I've done these in 18 inch. I've done them longer. I think I did one in 32 inch one time. Um, client just wants something really long. If you've got a really tall ceiling and your cabinets run up, you're not gonna be using a four inch center to center pull. You're gonna be using something much larger. Proportionality is the point. Here are the straight finishes on this side. Okay, the RM1200 series. And that's that radius end that I had mentioned earlier. You can kind of see it there. Now, the next document, mounting drawing. That's just going to show the through bolt, the type 5S, or the through, uh, pardon me, the through bolt, the type 1, or the back-to-back -back mount here. You can buy these bolts separately. They're not inexpensive, I have found, these long bolts and these brass collars that are here. But they can be ordered separately. Sample technical drawing. This is literally from a client's prior order. Um, I don't believe it was this order. I know that it wasn't. But this is what a technical drawing looks like from the manufacturer on this item. Okay. Now, there is a link below this video to... Where did we go here? To the manufacturer's page below this video. It's right here. When you click on that, you'll be able to pull up not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation. Also a link to the um, uh, manufacturer's website as well. Sorry, I was distracted. And the link to the architectural door pull catalog, which is here. And that's the catalog in which you're going to find the RM1300. You just do a find function on your keyboard for that, and you will find it. This is a little more current document that's here. And its sister products are here as well. There is also a link to the core Rockwood catalog. They are historically from the mid-20th century, a manufacturer of trim and auxiliary hardware, uh, kick plates and, you know, door stops, things of that nature, general push and pull hardware are here. So that is likely the name that you know Rockwood for if you do it all. But they've been making this RM series of architectural door pulls for, I guess, a couple of decades now. I don't really recall. But if you are looking for door pulls, even if it's a small mount, a small post mount. This is a great book. It's an idea book, in fact. A document that you can really use to help solve problems. Beautiful equipment. Um, almost entirely flawless every time that I get equipment from Rockwood for review before we ship the order out. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a pretty snazzy looking pull. Uh, and again, I wasn't really uh, exaggerating when I said that they all but encourage special requests. There was, in fact, a marketing release from Asa Abloy. I think it was pertaining specifically to McKinney, 
but I've seen it in context to Sargent and certainly uh, Sargent, really. And their, their marketing release said, if you've got a napkin and a pen, sketch it out and send it to us. We'll, we'll quote it. I mean, the only time they've not been able to produce something for me is when they literally didn't have the machine to do the work. Uh, they do a great job when it comes to uh, manufacturing, but also their finishing. They lead when it comes to custom finishes um, in the sense that if the base material can take the finish, they can do the work. If you want these powder coated white, they can do that. Um, if you wanted um, antique nickel, which would be a brass base material, if they can do this out of brass, they're going to do it. Uh, I don't think that they'll do this pull because I, they probably only have these bars in stainless rather than in brass. Uh, but nonetheless, they're, they will in, certainly encourage uh, and respond. Any questions on the RM1300-5 small mount post or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.